Well, Internet, I never got a chance to finish out my vlogs from Israel, and I've had several people comment as to what happened to me, uh, where did my last video go, and so I wanted to give you an update. What happened? So the day that we leave, it was my last day in Jerusalem, I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning with horrible food poisoning. So I figured I was in the hotel room all day, the group went out, they got to see some amazing sights, I saw some pictures, uh, because there are two... two uh, possible locations where Jesus uh, was crucified and buried, and they got to go to the other one, the one that didn't have a chapel built on top of it, and uh, it looked beautiful. But I was in my room. I was very, very sick. We had to call the doctor. Uh, I, my flight left out at 11 o'clock that night, so I was desperately trying to get better. I didn't figure you wanted video updates of all of that, um, but because I was in my room all day, that means I was separated from the group. So when we went through Israeli security, which is very stringent, I got pulled out uh, and, and interrogated uh, as to my whereabouts for the day, which was fun because I was just trying not to puke on the guy's shoes. And uh, <laughs> the Israeli security guard is asking me what I did all day in the hotel room. And I replied that I was worshiping the, the porcelain god, to which he did not get my reference until I clarified that I had been puking all day, which made him laugh and it, I got through security. But um, it was a long flight back. I mean, 18 hours worth of travel, not feeling well, but I had a lot of good friends that I made on the trip that just uh, loved on me. Um, and I made it home. And as soon as I got home, I got back to work and I was dealing with jet lag, and I preached three times that weekend, and then I had my Board of Ordain ministry meeting the following week that I had to prepare for, so I've been a little busy. Actually, this is really my first full day off since I got back. Anyway, recap from Israel. It was such an incredible trip. Matter of fact, it's hard to put into words, and so I'm very glad that I filmed so much of it because I just, I'm not even to a point yet that I can sit down and just write my experience. Uh, my good friend Jason Nelson, one of the other pastors at the church, like he's trying to blog his experience and he looks at me and he's like, David, I, I just don't even have the words yet. It's such a profound trip. Like you don't come back the same. And it was also interesting as you're walking around, you're seeing there's three, the three major faiths of the world. They all call uh, Jerusalem uh, one of their holy places. So you have people of all different backgrounds who are practicing their faith, and they do so in such a way, whether you agree with them or not, which I can get into theological debates with Muslims and, and Jews, but I appreciate the level of faith that is displayed in this place, uh, the level of commitment that's displayed. It's something you don't see here in America, and um, that in and of itself will start changing the way you think about things. But when you stand in these places that you've read about, and it just, the Bible comes to life in a way that you didn't know it could. I described to my congregation this past weekend, it's like gaining a key uh, to unlock something you didn't know was locked. So it's, you're surprised by joy that there's this whole new knowledge, uh, but it, it takes you so much deeper takes you so much deeper in the way that you read the Bible, the way that you process your faith, and the way you live it out. If you ever get a chance to go, I highly, highly recommend that you do it. You will not be the same afterwards. It's a long flight, I know. It's not cheap, but it will change your life. Just don't drink the tap water. They said the first day, you could drink the tap water. They lied. I'm the one that got sick, and I was the one out of the group that was drinking the tap water in the hotel room. Anyway. Thank you for taking, <laughs> you didn't take me, I took you, thank you for joining me on this trip. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from people who, as they've watched uh, all the videos and uh, I was glad to get a chance to do it. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. God bless.